Come on, Productions here. Yeah, I know it's been a while since you guys see my face, but George Kittle just signed a five year, $75 million contract. I need to report it just cause, you know, Kittle got a five year extension by $75 million. That's great for him. And uh, that ruined that just, he's the best player on that team. And I don't know if this means that. You know, they got the 49ers, they got to start worrying about their cap situation. They already have when they did trade DeForest Buckner to the Colts for the 13th overall pick. I assume they're just going to keep recycling, keep doing that cycle. You know, when they trade Javon Kinlaw away. I know Bosa's definitely going to be a keeper. They're going to have to keep, there's a few guys they're probably going to keep. But some dudes, they're just not going to be able to get keep. Like, uh, I don't know. Uh... D Debo Samuel, I feel like, well, should be a keeper. Brandon Ayuk as well. You know, there's a lot of key guys on this, a lot of key contributors on that team that won't be there for much longer. Like uh, Tart, Quan Alexander, D Ford. I don't think those guys will be in San Francisco much longer. Uh, Sherman, I don't know either. It depends. Um. There's a lot of other guys on that team. Eric Armstead's probably a keeper since he just signed an extension. Uh, Sherman Tart, or Bosa, not Bosa. Bosa's definitely staying there. But you guys know what I'm trying to say. But by the way, the money is going around. Bosa's gonna be getting a two hundred million dollar contract extension. That's gonna be crazy. Uh, but. <clears throat> Yeah, George Kittle did sign his extension. It is a, it's cheaper than Buckner's. Which means the Niners read the right move. I don't know if they're really going to miss Force Buckner. But, uh, you know, this just... They, they had to keep their best player. If the Niners didn't keep their best player, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a Raiders fan, so... <laughs> I know all about that, don't I? That rebuild that happened is kind of really going well for the Raiders, I would say. Bears should be contending right now with Khalil Mack, but instead, they don't. Their quarterback situation is pretty bad. But if you guys feel me, you all know this is a good move for both, not just George Kittle, but for the 49ers as well. Um, and I think... But that this is going to have to come with some sacrifices of players for John Lynch. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to keep Tart after this year, Sherman after this year. He's going to have to be very smart with his money over the coming years. And now that he's paid George Kittle. Garoppolo, he has a team friend. He kind of like... Kind of, yeah, I guess he has a team friendly deal considering the contracts that some of these quarterbacks are getting. Like Mahomes is getting $500 million over 10 years. Russell Wilson's getting 135 or something over four years. Might be 140. Even Jared Goff, he's making 134 over four years. And Dak Prescott wants Mahomes, wants 40, 45 million dollars a year. I'm not sure what it is. So yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo is on a team-friendly contract, which will help John Lynch. But when it comes time for Jimmy Garoppolo's next contract negotiation, actually, I'm not sure how that would go because he still has... Three years left on his current deal. And I want to say he's 28, so he'll be 30. Yeah, he's going to be getting a payday. Um, Yeah, so Garoppolo's got... you. So pretty much John Lynch has three years to keep throwing money at players. And then he's going to have to start making sacrifices. Well, he's starting to make sacrifices, as we saw with the Force Buckner. But... <sighs> How I put it? No, so... I don't know who's... They're definitely going to be trading somebody this year, I feel like. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if a guy like D. Ford is traded soon. Like, within the next year or so. I wouldn't be shocked if that defense is completely changed. There's like, there's no more to D. Ford. No more Chikosi Tart. No more Richard Sherman. No more Quan Alexander. Because there's guys on that defense... Main stairs like Eric Armstead, who just signed an extension. Um, Nick Bosa, Fred Warner. I feel like 
And then Jimmy Ward also signed an extension. I feel like everybody else can just be... And I'm also going to put Javon Kinlaw. He's probably going to be there for the next four or five years. So, you know, those guys are probably going to be around for a while. Everybody else, I don't know what's going to happen to them. You know, because John Lynch, we've seen what he's really good with salary cap. I don't doubt him. You know, he's trading DeForest Buckner for a first-round big that became Javon Kinlaw. That process is just going to continue to go, but not just with his defensive tackle. He's going to be starting to trade other positions. Oh, like, I'm not sure. Like, maybe he's going to start trading some guys like Kendrick Bourne, like he did Matt Breida. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Jarek McKinnon is gone soon because he hasn't played a game and he has a huge contract with them. But, uh, yeah, Jimmy Ward. But, so, yeah, um... The Niners are in a great spot for right now. I can't say they're in a great spot for the next 10 years. Uh, but they are in a great spot right now. Um, and then, you know... Oh, yeah, Drake Drake Reed in law. Uh, he's also a mainstay, I feel like, for the next couple of years. Everybody else, like... That team, there's the only Mace that name people I could see staying for the next four years that are probably guaranteed to stay the next four years are Jimmy Garoppolo, Brennan Ayuk, Debo Samuel, um, George Kittle, Trent, hmm, Trent Williams is a maybe, uh, Mike McGlinchey, uh, and on defense is D4, not D4, Nick Bosa. Uh, Javon Kinlaw, Eric Armstead, uh, Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, uh, and Jimmy Ward on the defensive backs. That's pretty much all the guys I could see. It's like everybody else on that team probably is getting moved around or will retire because Trent Williams and Richard Sherman are getting older. So, yeah, this is just an analysis of the 49ers, like talking about George Kittle's contract and the analysis of the 49ers. And how smart they are with contracts. Um, yeah. You know how smart they are when they're. And yeah. That's pretty much it I have for today guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.